हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू 30 डेज डेटा साइंस प्रोजेक्ट चैलेंज सीरीज टुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ जेनरेटिव एआई प्रोजेक्ट वेयर द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट दैट वी हैव वी हैव सम ऑफ द इमेजेस एंड इन आवर इमेजेस वी हैव सम ऑफ द फॉर्मेट सो इफ आई शो यू सम ऑफ द फॉर्मेट सो दीज आर द सम ऑफ द इमेजेस फॉर्मेट दैट वी हैव and based upon this particular images format as you can see in a images that we have our header after that we have some pages like home page about courses here we have the username password and the submit button and at the end in a footer that we have our copyright at 2023 success analytics okay so what we are going to do here based upon this particular images that we are going to convert this particular images into the website where we can use a generative ai and based upon the generative ai that we can convert we can just upload this particular image and after uploading our application it will give us the entire code including the html csa javascript and the bootstrap based upon our prompt that we can generate a entire application or we can say a entire web application that we can create based upon the images okay so one of the image that we have this one apart from this one that we have some more images so second image that i have here where again that we have the header a success analytics some of the pages that i have again username password the submit page and in a below in a footer that we have our copyright okay now if i show you one more image so i have one more image so here as you can see here that i have colored with the pen a red color as you can see a fill button okay and based upon this one that we are getting the complete pages okay so we are going to build a application where we can upload this particular images and based upon this particular images a same types of the user interface a same types of the web application that we will get with the help of this particular image okay so this is the main problem statement that we have where we can upload the image and as a result that we will get the complete web application based upon this particular images okay now what i'm going to do so now let's start building a complete application okay so here we have here run.txt file so make sure what you can do first of all try to create a virtual environment okay why the virtual environment because we are going to use a different different types of the requirements for this particular project okay so that's why we need a virtual environment we need a separate environment for this particular project okay so this is the command that we have to create a virtual environment after that if you are using a linux in this case that we have the command source my env and then bin and then activate and then we can activate the environment if we are using a uh, windows in this case that we can use this particular command so depends upon your operating system first of all try to create the virtual environment after creation of the virtual environment then we can activate the environment and then whatever the requirements that we have in our requirement.txt like is ecocr a stream late a lang chain pil library and open ai okay so these are the requirements that we can install with the help of pip install hyphen r requirement dot txt okay so first of all that we need one virtual environment so make sure with the help of this particular command try to create a virtual environment activate your environment and then install all the requirements whatever the necessary and whatever the important requirements that we have for this particular project okay now what i'm going to do so now let's start building our entire application so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to create one of the directory called utils utils because we need some helper function okay so under the utils folder that we can create one more file called ocr ocr dot py and in this particular ocr dot py file that we can create a helper function okay so now what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to import our is eg ocr so this particular eg ocr that we are going to import here so let me import import a eg ocr okay and after that let me write it down here so eg ocr okay so look like that i have copy and pasted okay fine now what we are going to do so now we are going to create a class why we are going to create a class because as you can see here these are the images that we have these are the complete images that we have and based upon this particular images first of all that we need to find out or we need to extract the all the information whatever the information that i have in this particular image so that's why i'm going to use a ocr library and with the help of ocr library 
that we can extract all the information from this particular images okay so let me go here and here first of all that i'm going to create a class so class ocr ocr class that we are going to create so ocr processor okay now let me define our complete constructor so define underscore underscore init underscore underscore and in this particular constructor the by default argument that we have the self argument okay now what we are going to do now after that as you can see in this particular images that we have all the letter in a english language okay so what i'm going to do here here that i'm going to write a self dot a reader so we are going to call the reader function equal to eg ocr dot we have a in a eg ocr that we have the function called reader function and with the help of reader function that we are going to call english en en it means that we are going to read english data from our images okay so from our images that we are going to read all the english information okay now after that i'm going to create a function so let me create the function so define a function to extract a complete layout as you can see in this particular images we have some of the layout we have some of the layout so we are going to create a function to extract a layout so we are going to extract all the layout whatever the layout that we have in our images okay and here that we are going to call a self by default parameter and second parameter that we are going to call a image because we want to extract all the layout from our images whatever the images that we are going to upload in our application right so that's why here we are going to call a parameter called images after that in a result i'm going to create one of the variable called result equal to a self dot reader self dot reader and in a reader that we have the function called read text so we are going to call a read text function and from this particular with the help of this particular read text function whatever the text that we have in our images that we are going to read our entire text okay so first that we are going to call all the english language from our images after that in our images whatever the english text that we have we are going to read all the english text from our images okay now after that what i'm going to do so here i'm going to create one of the empty list so output output underscore list so this is the empty list that we are going to create okay why the empty list that we are going to create because whatever the information that we can read from our images we can store in this particular output list variable okay now what i'm going to do so now i'm going to call the for loop so for original and second that i'm original let me write in this case so original list original list comma second that we are going to call the key and the third argument that we are going to define the empty variable in our result in this particular result okay so that we are going to iterate one by one our original list key as well as some empty data okay now after that i'm going to create a value a variable called value equal to value equal to and in this particular value is that i'm going to call the list comprehension and with the help of list comprehension whatever the sub list sub list information let's say here that we have in this particular image that we have some of the list data okay right now let's say we have some of the list data and in a list data that we have some of the sub list information okay so what we are going to do with the help of list comprehension that we are going to extract our list data as well as whatever the sub list information that we have let's say like in this way that we can create the list so let's say that we have the list data okay now in this particular list data let's say here that we are going to write a list data and so on so on so on let's say a complete information that we have now in this particular list if i want to create the sub list so th in this way that we can create a sub list okay so sub list info info okay so in this way whatever the information that we have in a list and whatever the information that we have in a sub list that we are going to extract each and everything okay so now let me write here so values one of the variable that we have created and now in this particular variable that we are going to call a complete list comprehension so for sub list in our original list in our original list for that we can we can call the okay so could this is the that we are going to call so that we are going to iterate from where from our sub list 
okay so from this particular sub list that we are going to iterate so in a uh, sub list and after that here that we can call our at the end that we are going to return a code okay so if i write this particular sub uh, complete list comprehension in this way so we can write a four sub list from our original list okay and after that we can write in this way so this is the that we can call and after that we can call the complete return what a code okay so this is the complete for loop that we are going to write in this way so this is the complete list comprehension based upon this particular for loop okay now after that what i'm going to do so now i'm going to create one of the variables so formatted underscore dict equal to one of the variable that i'm going to create a formatted dict and here that we are going to define a key and in a key that we can call our complete values okay now after that we can append the complete information in this particular output list so let's append output list dot append and in this particular append that we are going to append what our complete information whatever the formatted dictionary information that we have and at the end that we can return our this particular output list variable okay so what we are going to do in this particular complete code the first that we are going to read a english text from our images whatever the images that we are going to upload after uploading here the next function that we have to extract the layout so based upon our images whatever the images that we are going to upload based upon this particular image that we are going to extract the layout first okay so this particular function it will help us to extract a complete layout from our images okay now from our images that we are going to read our entire text whatever the text that we have in our images we have created a empty output list and after that with the help of for loop that we are going to call our complete data whatever the english data that we have in our images okay and then we are going to convert into the formatted dicts why in a formatted dictionary because at the end whatever the information that we will get from our images that we need to convert those particular information into the complete web application right so first that we are going to store in a key and value in a dictionary format and after that we can convert a complete layout into the web application okay so this is the first class that we have created a ocr processor class and with the help of ocr processor class that we are going to extract all the information whatever the information that we have in our images all the layout information okay so this is the ocr.py file that we have now if i talk about the summary of this particular file so summary that we have okay so with the help of this particular file that we are going to extract a text data as well as a layout a complete layout from our images okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to create a new file here so app dot py file so app dot py file that we are going to create and in this particular app dot py file first of all that we can import our ocr processor class so let me import here so from utils dot ocr ocr and from here that we are going to import our ocr processor class now import streamlit as st because that we are going to create a complete streamlit application now import os import open ai so we are going to import open ai as well now what we are going to do so now from lang chain that we are going to import a prompt template a chat open ai so from a lang chain and with the help of lang chain that i'm going to import okay so let me call here so lang chain dot a prompt so prompts and with the help of this particular prompt that we are going to input a prompt template so prompt template okay now next that we can import a uh, chance as well so langchain dot chat module so chat underscore models and with the help of chat model that we are going to import a chat open open ai okay now next from langchain that we are going to call our chance so langchain dot chance and from here that we are going to import our llm chan okay now next what we can do so next that we can import uh, image as well so from 
a PIL. Let me check it out in our requirements that we have the P PIL library or not. So yes, we have the PIL. So from PIL, we are going to import a images. Okay, so image, and next that we can import the OS. So yes, we have the OS library. Okay. So these are the some of the important library that we need to build our complete Streamlit application. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. So first of all, that we need our open ai api key okay so now if i show you the complete chrome so how that we will get our complete open ai key so if i show you here so let me go over the chrome browser so here that we have our complete chrome browser and here that we can search openai.com after that from here that we can generate our complete open ai key so here that we can log in now after login you need to create first of all your complete account over the openai.com and after that we will get this type of the window where we have the chat gpt and the api as we know we need a api key right to build this particular complete application so here that i'm going to click api and after that as you can see here that we have the welcome to the openai platform building an application where we have the gpt gpt based practice speech to text fine tuning image generation embedding and the so on so on many things that we have now we are going to click on this particular our account and after that here that we have the view api we can click on the view api now as you can see i have here the api key my test api key okay so in this case that like if you are going to create your account a first time you will get the empty here so in this case that you need to click on the create new secret key and after that here this is the optional that we have you can write anything is it's totally up to you and then you can create create a secret key okay so in this case you can create the secret key and make sure after creation of the secret key you can just copy and paste somewhere in your laptop so that the later part because as you can see we can't copy and paste later okay so make sure whenever you are going to create your secret key try to copy and store it somewhere okay now in this way that we can create the complete open ai account and then we can create a new secret key okay now what i'm going to do so here that i'm going to define our secret key so i already have the my secret key so i'm going to call here the os dot environment that we can call so environment environment and here that i'm going to define the open ai open ai api key okay open ai api key equal to here that i'm going to define my complete open ai api key okay now after that what i'm going to do so here i'm going to create a function so let me create a function first of all so the function that i'm going to create here so let me define so define a function so define a function to call the ocr ocr function okay so this is the function that i'm going to create and in this particular function i'm going to define an argument called images because anyhow whenever we are going to extract any types of the information that we need to load the images we need to call or we need to define the images okay so from the images that we want to extract a complete information whatever the information we have in our images so this particular ocr underscore function this particular ocr function it will help us or it is responsible for performing a complete ocr operation ocr operation it means it will perform a operation and based upon the operation it will extract a complete information from our images whatever the images that we are going to load so from this particular images this particular ocr function it will extract a complete information a complete information from our images okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to create a variable called ocr underscore processor processor equal to that we are going to call this particular ocr processor object so we are going to create a complete ocr processor object okay now after that i'm going to define my image path so image underscore path because at the in whatever the image is that we are going to upload in our streamlit application that from somewhere from somewhere let's say the our path that we have so this particular path that we have so from this particular path that we can upload our images right so that's why here we are going to call the image path so define the complete image path okay it's totally up to you if you want to define your local system path so you can define a local system path here directly as you can define a image variable so this particular image whatever the image variable image data that we are going to upload over our web application so automatically it will take a complete path okay now after that what i'm going to do so now i'm going to call the layout so let, let's define the variable so layout equal to 
we are going to define our this particular OCR variable because with the help of this particular variable because we have created a complete class here OCR processor class and with the help of this particular class that we are going to extract a complete layout from our images right so that's why here I'm going to call this particular variable a OCR processor variable and with the help of this particular variable and uh, that I'm going to call this particular extract layout function so if I show you here so from this particular function that I'm going to call so let me define OCR processor and extract layout and here that I'm going to pass our images path so whatever the images that we are going to upload in our stimulate application try to extract a uh, entire information or entire layout from our images whatever the image that we are going to upload in our web application and then we can return a layout so we can return this particular layout variable that we are going to return okay now next what i'm going to do so next i'm going to create a variable so custom uh, custom prompt prompt template okay so this is the variable that i'm going to create and in this particular variable a custom prompt template variable that we can define our complete template and this is the very important point that we have in a generative ai application guys whenever we are going to build uh, any types of the generative ai application a custom prompt template because based upon our prompt that we will get the complete responses okay so i have my complete prompt in my txt files what i'm going to do so i'm going to copy and paste my complete prompt from our folder so let me open the folder so yes txt and from here that i'm going to paste my entire prompt so yes this is the complete prompt that we have let's try to understand this particular complete prompt okay so here as you can see in this particular prompt we have a variable called custom prompt template you are you are task with creating a modern website based upon the provided layout so whatever the layout that we are going to provide from here from this particular variable so based upon the variable your task with the creating a modern website based upon the provided task the layout include the text element and their coordinates so again based upon this particular images based upon this particular images that we are going to find out the coordinates as well later part that we can define a function to find out a complete coordinate okay so from this particular images from this particular images the layout include the text element and their coordinate utilize the bootstrap for to structure the website and match the element position so again a bootstrap for so we are going to define okay so we need to use a bootstrap for code in our website okay remember to make the design a responsible so we want to make a responsive website okay so this is the first template that we have and here we are going to define the complete structure so your html structure should include okay so in this way that we can define a complete prompt okay so we follow some of the procedure whenever we define our prompt okay so this is the part of actually a prompt engineering okay so if you want a prompt engineering project then let me know in a comment section guys i will try to upload one of the prompt engineering project as well okay so based upon your comment and based upon your suggestion definitely i will upload okay so this is the structure mainly that we follow whenever we want to define any types of the prompt okay so here we have your html structure should include a first a bootstrap container second a nav navigation bar with the bootstrap class grid layout for positioning elements proper use of bootstrap class to style the text element responsive design using the bootstrap utilities incorporate provided text element using the bootstrap typographic class and images where specify we use the bootstrap images class okay so these are the some of the point that i'm going to define because i want to include these things in my html structure so your html structure should be include this particular complete point okay now here is the layout so we are going to call this particular layout variable here so your task is to create the html structure based upon this particular layout ensure it added to bootstrap principle do not use absolute coordinates in your html source code generate only the source code file no description okay so we did not want any types of the description we just want a complete code we just want a complete website okay so this is the complete template that we have a prompt template that we have and based upon this particular prompt template we are going to develop a entire 
एप्लीकेशन इंटायर एप्लीकेशन एट द आउटपुट डैट वी वन बेस्ड अपॉन आवर इमेजेज ओके सो बेस्ड अपॉन आवर इमेजेज डैट वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट द कम्प्लीट कोड एंड बेस्ड अपॉन द कोड डैट वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ कम्प्लीट वेब एप्लीकेशन वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड दिस पार्टिकुलर इमेज सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पार्टिकुलर इमेज वी हैव सम ऑफ द टेक्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द टेक्स डैट वी हैव द सम ऑफ द कॉर्डिनेट्स एज वेल ओके सो दैट्स वाई डैट आई हैव मैंशन इन माई प्रॉम्ट हेयर एज यू कैन सी सो द ले आउट इंक्लूड द टेक्सट एलिमेंट एंड दे आर कॉर्डिनेट सो बेस्ड अपॉन द कॉर्डिनेट डैट वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट आवर कम्प्लीट वेब एप्लीकेशन ओके नाउ वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो दिस इज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट आवर कम्प्लीट प्रॉम टेम्पलेट नाउ वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ फंक्शन सो डिफाइन अ फंक्शन टू क्रिएट अ एच टी एम एल जे टू एच टी एम एल फाइल सो एच टी एम एल अंडर स्को जेनेरेशन सो दिस इज द फंक्शन डैट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट एंड इन दिस पार्टिकुलर फंक्शन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन द ले आउट वाई द ले आउट बिकॉज बेस्ड अपॉन दिस पार्टिकुलर ले आउट बेस्ड अपॉन दिस पार्टिकुलर ले आउट डैट आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट माई कम्प्लीट एच टी एम एल कोड सो डैट्स वाई वी आर गोइंग टू पास अ ले आउट argument okay now after that i'm going to create a variable so prompt equal to we are going to call our prompt template so this is the prompt template function we are going to call so prompt template and in this particular prompt template that we can define a two argument first is a template so template it means this particular variable custom prompt template so let me define template equal to a custom prompt template variable and second argument that we can call the input variable so input variable based upon what so based upon our layout so let me call here a input underscore variables variables equal to here that i'm going to define our layout so let me define our complete layout here okay so this is the first variable that we are going to call a prompt and with the help of this particular prompt template we can generate our complete html code okay now i'm going to create the second variable called llm equal to here we are going to call our chat open ai chat open ai this particular module that we are going to call so chat open ai and in this particular module that we can define first of all our model so if i open our browser again so yes this is the browser that we have and in this particular browser if i show you the documentation and in our documentation here somewhere that we will get our complete overview in our overview if i show the examples so not the examples let me go in a api references okay in a api references that we have our complete okay so models and here as you can see in the models that we are getting retrieve model moderation no actually i want the complete model object model list so in a model list that i'm getting only one so what i can do let me go here and quick start example task no not example task that i need to define the quick start and here somewhere that we will get the complete models so yeah this is the like here as you can see lots of model that we have like gpt4 a uh, gpt3.5 gpt waste dale and may, many other model that we have so what we are going to do so from here that we are going to use a gpt3 so gpt3 turbo 16k so this is the model that we are going to use so some capabilities as the standard gpt3.5 turbo model but with the four times the context so we are going to use this particular model and with the help of this particular model that we are going to generate our complete website okay so let me copy this particular model from here and here that i'm going to call first of all our model so model equal to gpt 3.5 turbo 16 model that we are going to define and after that i'm going to call some of some more parameter called temperature so here we can't get the temperature because it's a part of the lang chain so lang chain temperature okay so as you can see the by default lang chain creates the chat model with the temperature value of 0.7 so what this particular temperature does so this particular temperature it will define as a randomness whatever the output that we are going to generate so based upon the output it will generate a complete randomness okay so that's why we are going to define a temperature so let me define here a temperature equal to the value i'm going to call a randomness equal to 0.1 so this is the like 0 to 1 that we can define a complete randomness value a temperature value okay apart from this one that we are going to call the max token so max underscore tokens 
so in a max token that i'm going to define again the random value so 2696 so this is 2096 so this is the random max token value that we are going to define and based upon this particular max token value it means that we are going to concise our complete output in between a till like 0 to till 2096 tokens okay so that's why we are going to define the maximum tokens i want till the 2096 maximum token output okay now after that what i can do so here again that i'm going to create the chain variable because till now that we are able to define a prompt now we are able to define the template next what we can do so next that we can define a chain so chain equal to that we are going to call uh, llm chain so here we have the model LLM, llm chain so this is the llm chain that we are going to define and in this particular llm chain we are going to define our argument first we can define our prompt and second that we can define our llm variable so let me define prompt prompt equal to prompt and llm equal to llm so both the variable that we are going to call a llm as well as a prompt variable okay now this particular llm chain llm chain links our complete template based upon our model whatever the model that we are going to define after that we can generate our complete output so let me define a variable called output equal to chain dot run and in this particular run that we are going to define a variable called layout because based upon the layout that we are going to generate our complete output so layout this particular variable that we can define okay now this particular code output equal to chain dot run layout equal to layout this particular variable it will help us to generate our complete output okay so what i'm going to do i want my complete output in my terminal as well so that's why i'm going to print here so output okay and then we can return then we can return what uh, our output variable okay so here we are going to generate our complete output and we are going to print in a terminal and after after that we are going to return our output so that we can get our complete output in our web application mm -hmm. as well okay so now with the help of this particular function that we are able to generate a complete html code okay now what i'm going to do so next that i'm going to write a condition so if if html if html not in where in our session so st dot we have one function in a steam lead call a session state so session let me check it out over the chrome ones so we have one function called session underscore state so let me check it out once so session state so session stage store the user data yeah so we are going to use here the session state session underscore session underscore state variable and with the help of this particular st dot session that we are going to store our complete information whatever the information or whatever the output that we have generated that we are going to store in a html okay so st dot session underscore state this is the special object that we have in our stimulate and this it can store our complete information related to our html okay and after that we can access our complete information so then we are going to call here st dot session underscore state 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 dot html okay equal to empty that we are going to define so if our html is not already defined so here that we are going to call the html so let's say if our html is not defined in this case that we are going to initialize a empty string called st dot session underscore state dot html okay it means that we are going to create a session that variable called html okay and after that we can initialize the value called empty empty string okay now same same way that we are going to define for our images as well because let's say if we have not uploaded our images okay so in this case definitely that we will get the empty and if we are able to upload our images to create the complete layout in this case that we will get our complete images in our application so that's why here we are going to call if image not in st dot session so same same code that i can copy and paste again from here so let me copy and paste so session and after that here that we can generate a uh, st dot session underscore state dot images okay so again if the images are not available in this in our web application in this case that we can create a empty string called images okay so with the help of this particular if 
कंडीशन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू चेक ओके सो वाट एवर द इमेजेस डैट वी हैव एंड वाट एवर द इमेजेस डैट वी हैव दो आर द इम्पटी डैट वी हैव और नॉट बेस्ट अपॉन दिस वन सो इफ इमेज नॉट इन द सेशन इफ वी डी नॉट हैव द इमेजेज इन आवर सेशन इन दिस केस डैट वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अ एम टी स्ट्रिंग फॉर द इमेजेज एंड इफ वी डी नॉट हैव द एस टी एम एल कोड इन दिस केस डैट वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अ एम टी एस टी एम एल कोड एम टी एस टी एम एल स्ट्रिंग ओके नाउ वाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू नेक्स्ट डैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन अ फंक्शन वेन एवर वी कैन अपलोड अवर कंप्लीट इमेजेज देन वी कैन रन अवर अवर अप्लीकेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ फंक्शन सो डिफाइन अ फंक्शन टू इमेज अंडर स्कोर रन एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस पार्टिकुलर इमेज रन फंक्शन वाट एवर द इमेजेज डैट वी आर गोइंग टू ओके सो बेस्ड अपॉन द इमेजेस वेन एवर वी कैन क्लिक ऑन द सबमिट बटन सबमिट बटन इन दिस केस डैट वी विल गेट आवर कंप्लीट एच टी एम एल कोड बेस्ड अपॉन आवर ले आउट बेस्ड अपॉन द इमेजेज ले आउट ओके सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ फंक्शन सो डिफाइन अ फंक्शन टू रन द इमेजेज ओके नाउ आफ्टर डैट वाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट द वेरिएबल सो एच टी एम एल अंडर स्कोर कोड सो इन ए इनिशियल डैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन द इम टी स्ट्रिंग ओके नाउ आफ्टर डैट आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल द ले आउट सो ले आउट इक्वल टू here we can call our function which function our ocr function because here that we have done the complete pre processing and here we are able to generate our complete layout so now we are going to call this particular function so layout equal to ocr function and here that we can define st dot a session state session state for our images for our session state dot images because we are going to extract the information with the help of this particular ocr function from our images right so that's why here we are going to call first function and in this particular function we are going to define the images okay so in our stimulate application session underscore state whatever the images that i am going to upload based upon those particular images try to extract the information as well as try to extract the layout okay now after that we are going to write if else condition so if a layout not equal to just try to focus on this particular condition not equal to empty list in this case what we can do we can create a complete our generation complete we can generate our complete output based upon the image a html output okay so if layout now let's say in our layout that we have something so whenever we have something in our layout based upon this one definitely we can create the html code right so if layout not equal to empty list in this case that we can define this particular variable called html code and equal to we can call our function call html generation so html generation function that we are going to call and in this particular function that we are going to pass what we are going to pass our layout okay so based upon this particular layout try to generate our html code okay now after that what i want so i want to store in my web application as well so st dot session underscore state equal to html equal to that we can call the html okay so whatever the code that we are able to generate just try to show me this particular complete code and just try to store this particular complete code in our stimulate application okay and based upon this particular application then again that we can call uh, images as well so st dot session underscore state dot image equal to that we can call our st dot so this particular image function that we can call okay so based upon images whatever the images that we are going to upload so based upon the images try to generate our complete code and then we can store under the session our html code as well as we are going to store and we are going to access after storing definitely that we can access so after storing that we can access our images as well as a code so this particular st dot session underscore state function this particular function it will help us to store our output whatever the html code and whatever the images that we are going to store and after storing that we can access okay so two things it will operate two things first store the data and then access the data okay now after that what i'm going to do so now we are able to set our complete image now we are able to generate our complete code with the help of our images whatever the layout that we have and whatever the text that we have in our images now what i'm going to do so now i'm going to define the our stimulate application so st dot we are going to set the page so set underscore page and we are going to set the layout for our config so config and in this particular config that i'm going to define the layout so layout equal to the layout wise that i'm going to okay so layout not here this is the variable that we have right 
so layout in a layout that we are going to define a white okay so we are going to set the page config called white okay now after that what i'm going to do so now i'm going to set the complete website uh, markdown so okay so i want a complete header so st dot uh, mark markdown and in this particular markdown that i'm going to call uh, design a uh, design a website app so design design a uh, design website uh, design a website app design to website app okay so in this case that we can write a complete complete markdown okay so this is the complete markdown that we have now what we are going to do so if i open my paint here so let me open my paint once so what i want let's say let's let me zoom it 100 okay so let's say this is the complete uh, web application that we have so in this particular web application what i want so first that I want here the complete header, our markdown, our markdown that I want here. So if I download our complete markdown, so here design a, so design a, design to website app. Okay, so this is the complete markdown data app. Now after the markdown, what I want, I want a two pages here. So first page is where that I can upload the images and second page is where I can get my complete output okay so this one first this one if i take the pin so here that we have where we can upload the images and here that we will get the complete html code so in this way that i want to design my complete web application so what i can do in this case that we can define a two variable so let me define a variable called columns one comma columns two equal to that we are going to create a two column so if i show you again pin so here as you can see two column that we have one column this is one and this is two column that we have right so we are going to create a two columns so column one comma column two st dot a columns and in this particular column that we are going to define in a list and in a list that we can define a 50 50 so 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 so 50 50 50 percent of the width that we are going to design define for our first column and 50 for our second column and here a gap that i'm going to call so gap equal to a medium that we are going to call so medium okay so this is the complete 50 50 that we are going to create a web application where first 50 that we have for our images where we can upload the images and second that where we can generate our complete output so that parallelly that we can compare with our images okay now what i'm going to do so next that we can write a complete function and based upon the function then we can generate our complete output so here we are going to define first of all our with condition so with column one column one and here that we are going to create a variable called upload underscore file equal to we are going to create a variable called upload file st dot in a stimulate we have a function called file uploader so file uploader so file uploader so this is the function that we have in our stimulate and with the help of this particular function we can upload any types of the images so here upload and images upload and images and after that i'm going to define the type okay so which types of the images that we want to upload so images type that i'm going to define here called jpg so jpg second images that i'm going to define like a png so png and then a third image that i'm going to define a jp eg okay so these types of the images that we can accept in our application okay so whenever we can call this particular function in this case that we can upload these types of the images where we have a jpg we have a png as well as we have a our jpg png and jpeg okay now after that i'm going to write a condition so if if file upload file if upload file upload file is not none not none it means that we are able to upload right so not none in this case that we can write a image underscore file name so image underscore file name equal to that we can call our uploaded file so from this particular uploaded file that we are going to call our file name so file name so let's say here that we are going to upload uh, abc dot uh, png so abc dot png images that we are going to upload so from this particular images that we are going to find out our image name image name so here the image name that we have the avc okay and with the help of this particular image name that we can store the same image 
in this particular our project working directory okay so same image that i want to store in this particular directory doesn't matter our images are available in this particular or not if not in this case that we can store in this particular our working directory so that's why here we are going to call so if uploaded file is not none in this case that we are going to call the name and then we can store okay now what we are going to do so next that we are going to call st dot image and with the help of this particular st dot images that we are going to display our images in our web application here here that we are going to display our complete images so now what i'm going to do so now here that i'm going to call uploaded file so this particular variable uploaded file and after that i'm going to call the caption so caption equal to here that i'm going to call upload image upload image and after that that we can call the width as well so huge column underscore width equal to true so whatever the width that we have so try to accept the complete width for this particular for this particular a uh, first column okay as you can see here that we have the complete code in our first column okay so that's why we are going to upload our complete images and then we are going to call the caption so with the help of this particular variable what we are going to do so we are going to display so display display the image display the uploaded image so display the uploaded image so we are going to display the uploaded image in our window okay now what i'm going to do so after that we are going to save we are going to save the uploaded image so save the uploaded image where in our working directory in this particular working directory that we are going to save we are going to save our images so now let's try to write a code here so here first of all what we are going to do so we are going to create a variable so image equal to image equal to image dot open we are going to call the open function and whatever the image that we are going to upload a same image that i want to save here so image dot open and then we are going to call our images after that we can save so image dot save so we are going to use a save function to save this particular image in our working directory in our working directory that we are going to save a same image whatever the image that we have and with the same file name with the same file name okay so with the same file name that we are going to save our images after that we can call the session again so st dot a session underscore state session dot state and from the session dot state that i'm going to call the images equal to our image file name our image file name then we can call we can create the submit button so st dot submit so st dot button and in this particular variable button variable that we are going to write uh, run or submit so submit okay so this is the submit button that we are going to create and on underscore click so whenever our user click on this particular button our image it will get run so image underscore run so we have this particular image image run so if i show you the image run here so somewhere that we have created the image run function right so yeah this particular image run function that we are going to call image run function okay so our image it will get run okay now let's define for our column two so this is all about our column one right now let me copy this particular code from here here that i'm going to paste and now i'm going to change a column one to column two right now if st dot again that we can call the session for our html because we are going to store our complete output so session session underscore state session underscore state dot html not equal to not equal to what not equal to empty not equal to empty in this case what we can do we will get one of the expander button and in our expander button that we will get our entire code so with st dot we have a function called expander so expander and in this particular expander that i'm going to define a c our source code okay so we are going to add a expander button and after that here that we can write in this way so we will get the complete code here so st dot a code whatever the generation html generation code that we have we will get here so st dot session underscore state dot html so this particular if i show you again so this particular html code variable that we are going to call here okay now after that what we can do so now we can we can call the container variable so now let's try to call so with with container st dot or container st dot con okay so 
container so container and in this particular container that we can call our components all the components so components so components dot html and in this particular components html that we are going to call again the same not this one uh st dot session underscore html because based upon this particular that we are going to create a complete web application right so st dot session underscore html and here we can define a height so height equal to that i'm going to write height equal to 600 and then we can we can add the scrolling button as well because i want a scrolling button in my web application whatever the web application that we are going to create based upon this particular images so i want a scrolling button as well so scrolling so scrolling equal to true that i'm going to pass okay now as you can see that our complete application it's created for our column one as well as for our column two okay now what i'm going to do so now i'm going to open my terminal because it's time to test our entire application so let me open first of all let me select the command prompt and from here that i'm going to activate my environment so conda activate python this is the environment name that i have so python new let me clear the screen and after that i'm going to call the streamlit run app.py let me press the enter button so it will take a few seconds and after that it will generate a complete link and based upon the link now as you can see here that we are getting the complete link in our vs code and based upon this particular link okay so i got the error class you know ocr okay so look like that i this particular function uh, class name that i have cut from here so that's why here as you can see okay now what i can do let me open our chrome we need to run or let me check once okay so let me run again stimulate run let me open my browser let's wait a few seconds till the yeah so it's running now let's wait meanwhile let me check it out in our terminal if we will get any type of the issue in this case so no everything is fine let me check it out okay so just wait some time because it will take some time to okay so now as you can see here we are getting some of the error so the error that we have html st dot session dot html so line number 99 let's verify one in a line number 99 so what is the issue that we have in a line number 99 in the application dot pi file line number 99 we have here 99 right so st dot session dot html so for column not okay so not equal to that we have this one this is fine session state s e double s t i o n so there is extremely no session state function so we have one function called let me check it out one okay so it's uh, not a t everywhere look like that i need to change so let me change everywhere so what i'm going to do so let me change everywhere so this one that i need to change this one that i need to change everywhere i need to change this one so now let me change this one so what i'm going to do so let me select first of all this one this one this one this one is fine this one is fine this one is fine okay so now look like this is fine so let me open let me rerun again now as you can see this is the website that we are getting so design to a website so what i'm going to do i'm going to edit this particular code so let me go over my again web application okay so this is the markdown that we have so let me change this particular markdown let me rerun let me rerun now as you can see design to website app okay now here that i'm going to select the images so let me select now let me select the document and here that i have one of the image called add a title bit let me open so this is the images that we are getting where we have the success analytics a home home about courses username submit and then copyright let me click on the submit button 
now we are getting the error here so extract layout line number 9 ocr.py file so let's try to debug why that we are getting the error here so reader in the ocr.py file that we are getting a error so in the line number 9 so line number 9 that we have the ocr.reader.txt so reader.read read text so self dot reader read text and after that reader that we have so this is fine r e a d e r okay so reader line number nine self dot reader and then images that we are going to pass here okay so this is fine now let me check it out a self dot reader has no attribute ocr so self okay so here look like that i did the mistake here as you can see hope now it will work let me open always rerun let me open the images let's select the images from here now i'm going to click on the submit button let's wait a few seconds okay because it will take some time to generate a complete output and now meanwhile what i can do as you can see i have selected the 100 so now let's select the 100 okay so it will take us some time to generate our complete output so based upon this particular layout what our application going to do here so first of all it will extract a complete layout whatever the images that are up uploaded so based upon the images our application first of all extract the layout first second it will extract the complete text and based upon the text then it will generate a complete web application so now as you can see that i'm getting the error call name crude is not defined so what i'm going to do so let me check it out where in uh, line number our line number 14 ocr.py file so let me open our ocr.py file okay so again that i did the one mistake so let me open here that we have our ocr.py file and here that crude so cr double o d okay so this one that we have fine right yeah now let me go over the application let me open the images let's select the images from here let me click on the submit button let's wait some time okay and after that it will generate our complete output okay so first it will extract the complete layout second it will extract the complete text and based upon the layout based upon the text then our application it will generate a complete html code and based upon the html code that we will get the output first a complete web application and second that we will get our entire html code including the bootstrap css whatever the prompt that i have mentioned if i show you here again so whatever the prompt that i have mentioned here so based upon this particular prompt it will generate our complete website so now as you can see here that we are getting the warning so neither CUDA nor MPPS are available so defining to the CPU note this module is much faster with the GPU so as we are using a CPU so definitely it will take some time to generate output now as you can see here that we are getting the images add a title bit so whatever the images that we have uploaded so based upon if I show you here so here that I have a save function so if I show you the code here so upload and the save function so based upon this particular save that we are going to save the images whatever the images that we are going to upload to create a web application okay now let me open my browser again now as you can see right now it's running so let's wait some time okay till the generation of our complete output and then i will show you like how it's extracting the complete how it how it's extracting the complete layout and the text and based upon this one that we are getting the complete our web application as well as our complete html code okay and now this types of the application that you will get in a real time guys in the industry okay so this is the like we are building with the help of open ai and the lang chain okay but in the industry like the many companies they are providing the drag and drop and where you can just upload your design and based upon the your design that you will get the complete html css bootstrap javascript react so this types of the complete code that you will get okay so here this is the application that we are building with the help of LangChain and OpenAI API key okay but in a real time you can enhance this particular application so whatever the issue that I will show you even the issue that I will show you here okay so the issue that we have in our application okay so let's wait till the output generation so now as you can see here we are getting the complete see our source code okay so we are getting the complete source code so here we have our complete source code but 
as you can see a components html that we are getting the error so source code wise that we are getting the complete source code okay so what i'm going to do let me show you first of all the source code so open copy this particular source code okay so again that we are not getting the copy option here as you can see not getting the copy option so right now i'm going to copy from here okay even that we can add the copy copy option as well okay so now i'm going to open my chrome here that i'm going to create index dot html now i'm going to paste the entire code now let me click on the live okay so it will open our live now as you can see it's starting so let's wait some time it will generate our complete output okay even that we have our same code here so html index that we can open this particular file and now as you can see this is a complete website that we are getting here we have the our success analytics so if i show you here so here we have our success analytics header after that home about courses so little bit the issue that we have here okay now after that we have the username password and the submit button so username a password where we can write a password submit button and this is the footer that we have okay now th there is some issue that we have in this particular application so again that we can define some more prompt okay and whatever the issue that we are getting here so we can define those things but let's try to resolve this particular issue first of all why that we are getting the error here so components issue that we have the name no not defined okay so what i'm going to do let me open our vs code in a line number 104 right so here in a line number 104 so let me check it out here about this particular app.py file components okay so spelling mismatch that we have right components so let me resolve what i'm going to do so now again that i'm going to run this particular application here so let's rerun okay and after that what we can do so now what i'm going to do so now as you can see please wait so let's wait some time now again that i'm going to upload the website uh, our images so let's upload the images now as you can see the same images that we have now let me click on the submit button so let's wait few more second and then i will show you so here as you can see this is the issue that we have the home about source uh, courses and here that we are getting home about and the courses okay so in this case that we can define some more prompt okay so whatever the issue that we are getting just try to rectify this particular issue okay we just want based upon the our layout we, we just want our complete output based upon the layout okay now apart from this one if you want to add some more features in this particular application in this case whatever the image is that we are going to upload this particular image just try to define those things and based upon this one that we can generate now let's say if you want some color in a background so here as you can see that we have the different color again that we have the linkage clickable link that we have right now let's say in a background that you want some different color here in a submit button if you want some different color so in this case we can define in our prompt whatever the prompt that we are defining here so in our prompt that we can do the modification okay so whatever the submit button that we have so submit button that i need a red color yellow color whatever the color that you want okay apart from this one whatever the some more features that we want in our application we can define those things in our prompt as well and based upon the prompt then we can generate our entire web application now as you can see here that we are getting the our complete web application now this particular web application that we can do the modification based upon our requirement and we can build our entire portfolio right so let's wait now as you can see it's running okay so in this way in this way that we can generate our complete website with the help of lang chain and with the help of openai api key and then we can build our entire portfolio okay and after the building portfolio that we can deploy somewhere and then we can publish to any platform so that we can share to the recruiter or we can share to the any person so that they can access our complete portfolio okay so in this way easily as you can see like total 100 100 uh, four lines of the code that we have here and here that we have approx 10 to 15 lines of the code okay so here 10 to 15 lines of the code that we have so with the help of like 130 40 lines of the code that we are able to generate our complete website now you can see again that i got the error so components in a line number again in a line number four of components that i'm getting the issue so let me open my vs code again so yes why that i'm getting the error here so look like i need to stops running first and then i need to run so component dot session state dot html and the height that we have and the scrolling that we are going to call the true so what i'm going to do let me let me do in this case 
so let me stop this particular complete code okay and after that what i'm going to do so here let me go up our complete this particular code here okay now after that i'm going to run our steam lead run app.py file code again so let me run okay so because we are writing the components but again that is taking the same thing so that's why i rerun the application again so let's wait hope now this time it will work so let me upload first of all the images from here so it's running just wait some time just wait it's running okay so let me check it out meanwhile our terminal so yeah in the terminal we did not have anything it means like it will work so just wait okay so now as you can see design to the website app now let me open the let me upload the images so here that i'm going to upload the images now let me click on the submit button so submit now it will take some time to generate a complete output so so now as you can see we got our complete output now here based upon our images we are getting our complete web application where we have our success analytics a header after that we have a home page about and the courses and here in a three dot as you can see we are getting our home page about and courses okay now below based upon our this one username and the password and we have a submit button so here we can write our username so we can write anything a password again that we can write a password and after that we can click on the submit button and if i talk about the footer so copyright and here as you can see we have our complete footer okay so in this way that we can build our complete design to website app with the help of images where we can upload a uh, images and in a handwritten format so as you can see this is the handwritten format data that we have and based upon the data that we are getting our complete web application okay using a llm as well as our open ai api okay so in this way that we can create our complete website with the help of llm guys now if i talk about the source code so here that we have our complete source course so here you can see we have our complete source code here so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this particular source code let me open my vs code and here that i'm going to create one index.html so index one dot html and now in this particular file that i'm going to paste this one okay so let me paste now let me click on the go live okay so let me open and same whatever the window output that we are getting here same types of output that we will get with the help of this particular code so yeah it's running now in a port number 5000 so if i show you here so as you can see this is the output that we are getting a success analytics home page about and the courses and we have a footer and here we have a username we can write a username we can write a password and after that we can submit home page about and the courses okay so in this way that we can design our complete application guys okay and with the help of this particular application that we can develop any types of the website again that we can do the some of the fine tuning here so as you can see here in a prompt if I show you our app.py file, so this is the app.py file that we have. So whatever the issues that we are getting in our application. So if I talk about the issues, so as you can see here, we are getting the home page about and the courses. Okay. Now we can do the modification in our prompt and based upon the prompt that we can generate our complete application like this one. Okay. So yes, this is all about in this particular project guys. Make sure whatever the issues, whatever the doubt that you have, just write it down in a comment section. And please, like the video, subscribe the channel and share with your friends, guys. Thank you. See you in our upcoming project.